Lost Treasure and Easy English Conversation Practice Hi Annabelle, did you hear about the lost treasure? Hi George. Yes, I heard something about it. What do you know? They say it's an old pirate treasure. It was lost many years ago. That sounds exciting. Where is it supposed to be? Some people think it's hidden in the old forest near our town. Wow, really? Do you believe it's true? I'm not sure, but it would be fun to look for it. Don't you think? Yes, it would be like an adventure. How do we start? I think we should make a plan first. We need a map of the forest. Good idea. Do you know where we can get a map? We can check the library. They might have old maps. Perfect. Let's go to the library this afternoon. All right. We also need some tools, like a shovel and a flashlight. I have a flashlight at home. Do you have a shovel? Yes, I have one in the garage. We can use it. Great. We should also take some water and snacks. Good thinking. It might take a long time to find the treasure. Yes, we need to be prepared. This is going to be so much fun. I agree. Even if we don't find the treasure, it will be an adventure. Absolutely. Let's meet at the library at 3 p.m. Sounds good. See you then, Annabelle. See you, George. Leaving the hotel, learn English with real conversations. Good morning, Bianca. Are you ready to leave the hotel? Good morning, Luther. Yes, I just finished packing. How about you? I'm almost done. Did you enjoy your stay here? Yes, it was wonderful. The room was comfortable, and the staff was very friendly. What about you? I enjoyed it too. The breakfast was delicious every morning. Did you try the pancakes? Yes, I did. They were amazing. Have you checked out already? Not yet. I need to return the room key and settle the bill. What time is our flight? Our flight is at 2 p.m. We have plenty of time. Should we call a taxi now? That's a good idea. I will ask the receptionist to book one for us. Do you have everything? I think so. Let me check my bag once more. Do you have your passport and tickets? Yes, they are in my bag. What was your favorite part of this trip? I loved the beach. It was so relaxing. And you? I really liked the city tour. It was very informative and fun. Ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Let's check out and head to the airport. Okay, let's go. I hope the taxi arrives soon. I'm sure it will. I'm looking forward to our next adventure. Me too. Safe travels, Bianca. 
Safe travels, Luther. Let's go. School subjects and personal favorites, a candid chat with George and Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. I was just wondering, what subjects do you like most at school? Hi, George. Well, I really enjoy mathematics and science. How about you? That's cool. I'm more into history and English. But tell me, what makes math and science so interesting for you? I love how math challenges my problem-solving skills. It's like every equation is a puzzle waiting to be solved. And science, it's fascinating to learn how things work in the world around us. I see your point. I like history because it's like a series of stories from the past, and English lets me express my thoughts creatively. But don't you find math and science challenging? They can be challenging, but that's part of the fun. It feels great to understand a complex concept. Plus, I think they're really important for many careers in the future. That makes sense. I think being good at any subject can help in future careers. For instance, history can help with research skills, and English is great for communication. Absolutely, George. Every subject has its own value. Speaking of which, how do you manage subjects that you find difficult? I try to find interesting ways to learn. Like for history, I watch documentaries, and for English, I read a lot of different books. What about you? Any tips for tough subjects? I like to join study groups and watch educational videos, especially for math and science. It helps to see things explained in different ways. That's a great idea. Learning can be more fun and effective with others. Do you use any specific techniques to remember what you learn? Yes. For science, I make flashcards with key terms and concepts. For math, practicing different types of problems helps a lot. What about you? Any study tips? I make a lot of notes, especially for history. And for English, I try writing essays or even poems. It's all about practicing and being creative. That's awesome, George. It's cool how we all have different interests and ways to learn. It keeps school exciting and diverse. Totally agree, Jennifer. It's great to share ideas about learning and help each other out. Sports Talk. Discover the thrill of competition with William and Isabella. Hey Isabella, do you play any sports? Hi William. Yes, I play tennis on the weekends at the community club. How about you? That's great. I play soccer every weekend with a local team. It's a fantastic way to stay active. Soccer sounds fun. How long have you been playing? I've been playing since I was a kid. Soccer has always been a part of my life. What got you into tennis? I started playing in high school. It started as a way to improve my fitness, but now I love the competition and the strategy involved. It's interesting how sports can evolve from a hobby to a passion. Do you participate in competitions? Occasionally, I enter local tournaments. Last month, I actually won a doubles match with a friend. Congratulations. That must have been exciting. Winning always gives that extra bit of joy. Thanks. What about you? Do you compete with your soccer team? Yes, we're part of a local league. The games are competitive, but it's all in good fun. We won our last match and are hoping to keep the streak going. 
That sounds like a great team spirit. It's wonderful to be part of a team that supports each other. Absolutely. Team sports bring people together like nothing else. How do you find the balance between competition and fun? I think it's about enjoying the moment and improving at your own pace. Winning is great, but I value the experience and the people I meet more. I couldn't agree more. It's the people, the laughs, and the shared efforts that make sports so rewarding. Definitely. Well, it was really nice chatting with you about sports, William. Maybe we can catch a game together sometime. I'd like that, Isabella. It's always great to meet someone who understands the passion for sports. Have a great day! You too, William. Take care.